So a question I had a lot about this customization is how do I change everything to euros so when I submit it, it actually accepts values that have a comma in it because for Australia and for the US and the UK and most currencies, they use periods to separate dollars from cents. So I'm going to teach you how to do that and have the data still be read in your expense tracker. The first thing that you do is go into your expense tracker and change it to your country. So go to file, spreadsheet settings, and then go and change it. Let's change it to Italy. Save settings. And it's going to do a little refresh. And then when you go to the main dashboard, you can actually see that these have turned from periods to commas there. Let's change it to euros. Select all of this, go to format, number, and then turn it to euros. So that's looking good right now. But the main problem is when you go to your expenses form, if you submit a date and then you go like something like bread, when you put the answer in like 399, it says must be a number because it doesn't read a comma as a number. It only reads periods. So the way to change this is you go to your expense form to edit and then go to amount. When you select your amount, as you can see, it has conditions on it. So if you type any other character, it will flag it as wrong. But what you want to do is get rid of this. So you get rid of this and then go to preview. And then now you can actually put things with commas in them. So you go red again and then go three comma nine nine. And it doesn't flag it as being wrong anymore. So we can choose category one and then submit. And then when we go back to our income tracker, then go to here. And as you can see, the bread has been registered under 399. And that's how it's solved.